friends, this is Miss Angie, and I am here to share with you something I purchased the other day. Does anybody know what this is? Take a look inside. I cut the end of it off. It's aloe. It's a really big aloe leaf. I was able to purchase this at my local grocery store in the produce department. It maybe cost, I don't know, a couple of dollars, maybe two or three dollars. And I thought I would I wanted to see what was inside. So I thought I would make hand sanitizer. Okay, there's lots of different things you can do with the aloe. You can use it in your hair, you could use it on your hands, you could use it on your skin if you have sunburn. Um, but I'm gonna try and make hand sanitizer. So I posted all of the ingredients that we need. The main one is aloe and you need to have alcohol, rubbing alcohol. The CDC recommends um, anything between 70 and 90% or 60 and 90%. We're gonna use 70 because um, it's not quite as strong as the 90, won't be quite as harsh if we use it on our hands. Um, before we get started, everything has to be super clean. So make sure your surface is clean, your hands are clean, everything that you use is clean. And you're gonna need, if you have my drippy aloe like this, or you have a, a smaller plant, you can take one of the leaves off. Your parent has to do that for you, and your parent also has to cut it for you. But we can scrape it out with a spoon because inside the aloe plant, if you see here, this is the outside. The texture is kind of thick and um, it's called a succulent, a succulent plant. But when you cut it open, it's jelly inside and you can kind of see it's, yeah, it's goopy and that's the gel that we put on our skin. So we're gonna cut it and scrape it out and make some hand sanitizer. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to bring you down here. There we go, there we go. All right, so here we are, I have my aloe. Now what I'm gonna do, this is such a big piece, I'm going to cut into slices. Now your parent would have to do this for you because you need to have a knife. And then, and you can see what they look like. It's so cool. All right, then I'm gonna cut the sides like this. So I cut the edges off and then your parent will cut just one side, kind of just cutting the top off. So now it's just sitting the bit in the bottom. Okay, so that's all of our gel. And this is what we wanna scrape out. So I'm gonna get my bowl and I'm gonna get my spoon and I'm gonna scrape out the gel. Oh, how cool is this, right? You can get your fingers in there. It's kind of gross feeling, but it's very healing. <laughs> Our recipe calls for uh, twice the amount of alcohol as gel. So I have a cup and a half a cup. So I'm going to use need to get a half a cup of aloe. So I think I'm gonna need two pieces because I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good amount. It doesn't matter however much aloe you have, just put twice as much, we're gonna be doing math, put twice as much alcohol in. All right, there's our second piece. Bring my bowl back and scrape it out. There we go. And you can take your time, get all the good jelly parts out. And there we go. And it's okay, because my hands are super clean. I wash them with soap and water. All right. <laughs> So there is some of our gel. Now what I'm gonna do, I have this instrument, is called a whisk. And this, I'm gonna try to break some of it up and whisk it. And you might need, yep, you need to get in there with your hands and squeeze it. And then, yes, there we go. Take some time. Now, if your gel is not breaking up, you can keep doing this, keep, keep, keep stirring, or you could also put it in a blender. Look at that, pretty cool, huh? All right, so I'm gonna measure out a cup. I'm pretty sure this is only about a half a cup. 
So once you have enough, I know how much that is. Now I'm gonna, since I have a half a cup of aloe and we need to do twice as much alcohol, how much alcohol do I need? So I have a half a cup of aloe. I need a full cup of alcohol. Let me get this as a brand new bottle. So I'm gonna pour in a full cup. It's gonna be stinky, be very careful. You definitely need an adult by you to do this. And now very gently, we're gonna take some time and we're gonna stir this up. It's watery right now, but the more you stir, it's gonna become a little bit more combined and it'll and the gel part of it is really good for the delivery when we get it onto our hands also alcohol is very very drying kills the germs but it's very drying so the aloe helps to keep our hands from getting really dry Move this stuff out of the way. now you probably now if you're doing this at home are starting to smell a very strong smell Smells like alcohol. Whew. So, one way to combat that, I have an essential oil. You do not have to put any oils in it. This one I have, it's an organic central or essential oil, and this scent is lemongrass. So I'm just gonna put a few drops of lemongrass in there because it'll smell nice, and it kind of combats some of the strong alcohol scent. All right, I'm gonna mix, mix, mix. And then, pretty much, that's it. Now, if you have big chunks in here that you can't break up, you can use a strainer and strain them out, okay? But, all you have to do now is find an empty bottle. I have this little bottle here, and I'm gonna take my mixture, and I'm going to use my funnel the funnel on top like this. I'm gonna pour some in there. I'm gonna do a little bit. And then you get to see. So I poured it in there and there it is. Put my lid back on. Make sure you mark this. I have to shake it up really good. Make sure you mark it so you know what it is. And there's my hand sanitizer. Make sure you get it really good in your hands, in between your fingers, all over. Yeah, there we go. We did it. We made our own hand sanitizer. It's very fast, very quick. And look, I still have a lot of my aloe left. So I think I'm going to take the aloe out of here and save it for another batch. But I still have a lot left in here. I can probably make two or three more bottles of this. Um, again, I still have pieces in here, which are excellent. You want to use these. They're still a little bit, there's a little bit of the fibrous parts in there. They're not breaking up. So I might take this and put it in my blender, blend it up, make sure my blender is really clean, blend it up, and then pour it into another bottle. Clean everything before and after really, really well. Reminder that you need your parents to cut the aloe and to help you handle the alcohol because... You don't want to get this anywhere other than your workspace and you can't use the knife without your adult. So that's it friends. That is Miss Angie's homemade hand sanitizer. I hope you enjoy. Remember though, that the most important thing is to wash your hands. You have to wash your hands. If you have dirt on your hands, or the best way to get germs, anything off of your hands is to use soap and water, sing the birthday song at least once, nice warm hot water, wash, 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 wash. If there are times in between when you can't wash your hands, you can use your hand sanitizer, but make sure you wash your hands as soon as possible. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe, make good choices, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.